did something that I was not proud of. I pushed a kid down in the playground. But believe me, he was asking for it. He did something stupid, and I didn't quite like it. I don't remember what it was, but at the time I was quite passionate, so I ran forward and crashed into him. I rammed him. It was some random weirdo anyway. Could have been a Tom, a Timmy, a Ron, or Jimmy. And when the teacher came, I shouted, not fair, it was his fault, he started it. It's a simple if-then statement. If there are other people in the world, and they like to be treated how you like to be treated, then you shouldn't push them down, at the very least. We teach this to our kindergartners. Remember kids, hurting someone is never the answer. It is a lesson that is often ignored. In middle school, I saw a fight break out on the field. A repetitive mashing of fist into face and skull with blood spray painting the grass red. In high school, there was the repeated tale of a kid who brought a gun into Spanish class, loaded and waiting under the table, taught like a tiger before the pounce. If the teacher hadn't have seen it, she still doesn't know what could have happened. To anyone listening, I ask of you, is a punch any different from the edge of a knife blade? Or the black barrel of a gun when the intention is the same, I ask of you. How fast a cylinder is able to spin until it is emptied of all of its rounds before someone else comes down the hallway. Surely you must have learned in school the velocity of a single shard of metal as it approaches human anatomy if you've ever made paper snowflakes before. You should know how thin our skin can be when it is ripped from bones by bullets. I've never known the sound of shell casings on linoleum tiles, but I wouldn't want to follow the NRA's advice and see armed guards in every American school. We have smart bombs and drones live in a world where children are still the targets in foreign wars. I want to do something, but I don't know if I can. My hands tremble when I think about the scope of a sniper rifle, crosshairs around a child's white smile as the trigger is pulled. See, I've been squeamish around violence ever after the playground days, but I'll still play violent video games. Hypocrisy aside, I think the younger me would have been proud to grow up to be someone who doesn't push others, pull hair, stop toys, make loud noise, and destroy. If the world is a playground, then the leaders are kids, heads of state. If one kid pushes another, they'll say to anyone, believe me, they started it, and the wars will go on like child's play. It seems so strange how good some kids are at pushing, as if pushing is the only thing they are good at, as if pushing is the only thing they have ever known. Violence is childish. It is a lesson that is often ignored. I'm 18, and I don't have any practical solutions towards ending wars or stopping shootings besides saying let's all be better people, but at five years old, I never knew that the golden rule, do unto others as you would have them do to you, would be interpreted by some to be do harm to others as you would like, while lives are snatched too soon like flowers before bloom. The grave markers could have been a Tom, a Timmy, or Ron, or Jimmy. Thank you.